What is up? It's Bioed back with another educational video. Like always, don't forget to chuck us a thumbs up down below, subscribe for more videos, and check out our other videos listed in the description below. Today we are going to look at cells. More importantly, what are cells? Why cells are so small? The structure of cells? And the difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells? So let's get into it by looking at what cells are. All organisms are either unicellular or multicellular, meaning they consist of one or more cells. All cells come from pre-existing cells because they divide within the organism. Cells are the smallest unit of life and therefore need to be seen through devices called light or electron microscopes. These allow us to study the cells and discover their functions and importance within life. But why are cells so small? Cells need sufficient surface area to allow adequate transport of nutrients in and waste out. As the cell volume or size of the cell increases, so does the need for this nutrients to be transported in and waste removal to occur. The issue with the size of the cell increasing is that the surface area doesn't increase proportionally, meaning that if the cell's volume gets too large, it can't transport enough nutrients in or waste out. So if we look at the cell's structure, all cells have an outermost plasma membrane. This is a phospholipid bilayer with embedded proteins and its function is to control what goes in and out of the cell by receiving signals. Genetic material in the form of DNA. This can either be found in the nucleus or nucleoid depending on what type of cell. And a cytoplasm with ribosomes. The cytoplasm is the fluid area within the cell, while the ribosomes are the site for protein synthesis. The two types of cells are prokaryotic and eukaryotic. Prokaryotic cells are smaller and simpler in structure than eukaryotic. However, eukaryotic cells have a nucleus, which is where the DNA material is stored, and, and membrane-bound organelles, such as mitochondria. An overview to see if you've all been listening. What is a cell? Cells are the smallest unit of life, and organisms consist of one or more cells. Why are they so small? Cells need sufficient surface area to allow adequate transport of nutrients in and waste out. If the cell gets too big or the volume is too large, this can't occur sufficiently. Cell structure. All cells have an outermost plasma membrane, genetic material in the form of DNA, and a cytoplasm with ribosomes. What are the two types of cells and the difference between them? Prokaryotic, which are smaller and simpler, and eukaryotic, which contain a nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. So that is all. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed the video, please chuck us a like down below, and I'll see you next time.